right, what's going on, guys? It's Chev. We're back here over on some more X Defy. So season one is here. And before this season ended up coming out, I ended up getting gold for each and every single weapon on the entire list. Well, besides the new ones here. Obviously, the new season introduced a new assault rifle, and they also introduced a new snipe rifle, the L11-5. So we got a new snipe rifle, new assault rifle, and as you can see, all of the other weapons here are all level 200, which used to be the max level, and you would be able to unlock gold for all of the weapons. I have gold for every single weapon on the entire list here, including the secondaries as well. We also have a sawed-off shotgun secondary. Didn't even remember that. So I had basically completed the entire grind here. Well, now they have added a brand new grind. So now we have bronze, silver, gold, titanium violet. We have titanium azure, which actually kind of changes now that I'm looking at it. It changes from like blue and green. I don't think the violet changes at all. Now, it seems like the violet just stays the same the whole time, but the titanium azure actually changes a little bit over time. And as you can see, it's level 200 out of 200. And then in order to even start getting the new ones, we have to get it all the way up to 300, then 350 for the titanium azure, and then level 400 for the titanium prisma, which is absolutely beautiful. It's just this rainbow, super clean. They desperately needed camos and designs and stuff like that that were more animated and stuff. Because if it was just like these colors here, it would just be really flat and boring. But this is very noticeable. Now, the thing that we do know though, since I got gold for all of the weapons, obviously there was no secret reward at the end of the game for getting all of them gold. And from what I know, if somebody were to get everything titanium prisma, for example, I highly doubt that there's some kind of secret for doing so. I also could be under the assumption that they might add even more mastery camos after this point if too many people were getting this camo. But who knows? But with that said, this camo is the goal. We also got a new faction here called GSK. They have a flash shield, which I think is the ultimate. You can flashbang people with a shield, which is absolutely disgusting. But if you played Rainbow Six, you remember this. There's the shock wire, which I think, what character was I playing uh, back in Rainbow Six that would uh, shock wire? Bandit, I think? You have the active defense system, which is basically just a trophy system that you can just throw down. You can put it on the ground. You can put it on the wall put it on the ceiling, put it wherever you want, and it just works as a nice little trophy system. And then we also have a passive trait called Hard Hat. Ballistic Helmet reduces the lethality of enemy headshots. I have seen a, a good amount of people complain about that helmet thing, but I really don't think it'll make that big of a difference, personally. I feel like, overall, Phantom at 120 HP was more annoying than anything. I am guaranteed to be dealing with this passive of an extra 20 HP every single time I fight a Phantom, whereas with GSK, it only really makes a difference if I shoot them in the head. I just won't shoot them in the head. It's very simple. Now, the question is, what weapon do we want to level up first? Do I want to get the TAC-50 200 levels? Uh, ranked mode, I think, is also starting tomorrow. Right now, it's still the trial, but I believe that it comes out tomorrow with the actual rankings and everything. So so now we got Capture the Flag in the game. I highly doubt that Capture the Flag will be a very good um, thing to level up my weapon. So I think I'm either going to still go with Team Deathmatch or I'm going to go into Occupy. Oh, and also, apparently, they added Creator Code. I don't really ask for too much, but hey, Mark, if there's any room in that uh, creator code thing, let me know. I'm just saying. I also do have some boosters, but I really don't want to use them right now. I don't think it's a good idea. Although I could. I could use a 20 minute. I haven't played in a little bit because of uh, Elden Ring, so. Oh, and also, they made it so whenever you activate these boosters, they only count when you're in game. Take some notes, Call of Duty. We see what you're doing. Maybe the vector. Let's do the vector. I want to get something that has good weapon coverage, but at the same time, boy, I have three charges of this electricity thing. Okay, yeah, it's still stacking. We're still using MP7s. We got brand new weapons in the game, and we're still using MP7s. So crazy. Did they change the font? I swear that the font is a little bit... Oh, wait, they added a headshot thing in there. I'm playing really bad. Players are super bad, and I'm missing, like, horribly. See, I only spent two minutes in game before I ended up leaving. I still have 18 minutes remaining, and it's not ticking down as I'm sitting here. Beautiful. So the shock wire is really weird. I, I guess it, like, stays on the ground until people destroy it or something? Weird. I, I don't know. I have no idea. But now we're gonna go with this. Let's try the new assault rifle out. It seems like it'll be the type of rifle that's uh maybe like an m4 feels like it looks like an m4 target neutralized honestly this shit feels pretty good feels better than an m4 to me yeah, I like it. I don't have attachments on it, but I like it. It's definitely one of those faster firing, more accurate rifles. Not a big heavy hitter, but it can melt people. So can you do anything? What happens when you step in it? You just get, you slow down. Okay. It works a lot like the regular ones do. It slows you down. It doesn't kill you or anything. It just slows you down. Oh, and it does electrify you. Okay. So when it's electrified, it does do damage. Right. Just like it does in Siege. Be advised, capture zone is changing location. Oh man, I don't know what that guy was 
good. Don't worry, everyone. I have a trophy system down. Yeah, they completely changed the font and everything on the screen. I'm so surprised that I only got two things destroyed by my trophy system. That doesn't make any sense to me. People should be throwing like 10 grenades. I'm expecting that these uh, trophy systems can only take down like maybe three items and then they're done. Uh, back to TDM with my bum ass. Hopefully you can find a better lobby. Realistically, if I could get a gold weapon in one day, which is like, you know, 100, 200 levels, whatever, they, they've done a bunch of different changes to it, especially with double XP and stuff, I should be able to get one of those weapons to 400 by tomorrow. Obviously not with the brand new weapons or whatever, but one of these weapons that are already already there. I just don't know which one I'm most comfortable with, to be honest with you. M16 gets annoying after a while. MDR is a little too weak. M4 feels too weak. AK feels nice, but it doesn't have good coverage. And the ACR is just boring. And then we go over to the uh, SMGs. Yeah, I can sweat on people with the MP7, Vector, P90. And it's really all the choices I got, really. I could just sweat on people with the MP7, realistically. They need to nerf this shit, too, by the way. Nerf this fucking brain-dead weapon. The worst players in the world are getting away with murder. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait. Okay, these mastery camos actually do good coverage. There are a couple great spot still but this is beautiful it gets rid of that wood finish that kind of sometimes it complements the camo a lot of the time it really clashes but when you got these brand new ones here okay yeah i'll use the ak then fuck it get into games so quickly from the no skill based matchmaking that i don't make adjustments to anything i keep thinking that it'll take some time and i can just sit there and adjust things and i can't matchmaking is too fast <laughs> Oh, the shotgun. Ah! Press the advantage. Yeah, it still does seem to uh, stack. So when you go on kill streaks in Team Deathmatch, you get more weapon XP in total, which I think is a really good thing. Like outside of obviously, like people will play their lives a little bit more in TDM in general, but also TDM is just not a good means of uh, leveling up weapons and other things. Like what the fuck? TDM is not good for leveling up weapons generally across like any game that I played that's even similar to this because you generally get less kills. Yeah, my shit is leveling quickly. Now, I do have double XP on. I got double XP going on streaks, so... TDM is usually super chill, too. It's definitely slower, but it doesn't seem like as many people are, like, stacking and stuff with uh, squads and shit, so... They don't want to push me unless I'm fighting somebody else. Only got 23 kills in total, but I'm pretty sure my weapon leveled up, like, five times, which is really nice. Let me go and try this new sniper rifle out as well. They said that it's kind of the middle ground between the M44 and the uh, TAC-50, so... Oh, that's cool, and it shows your progress towards the next mastery camos. I love this, actually. That's beautiful. Okay, so let's go L11. Oh, what a beauty. The mastery three camos look like on it so we got the full bronze beautiful full silver beautiful full gold clean then we got the titanium violet cute we got the titanium azure which is it's just nice it goes from purple and blue and green to like turquoise looks nice and then we have titanium prisma Woo! i got a lot of tokens too from the battle pass so that helped there's also these challenges that i'm not sure if too many people are aware of if you go over here if you do a uh, shift f2 and you go to challenges, you can earn extra things in here as well. Like uh, shotgun kills, you get a XP token. Marksman rifle kills, you get another XP token. Yeah, it's pretty good. Did I hit that guy in the head? What was that sound? It seems like really wobbly for some reason. I mean, but it is a sniper rifle, feels really consistent. Yeah, it's not just me, right? Like the text is absolutely different, right? It for sure is different. I mean, what's the point? You sent my the spider bot after me and then you just pushed me anyway. What's the point of the bot? Fucking dumbass. Oh no, I'm jumping off the map. I'm not dying to that. Bye. Yeah, this weapon feels odd. Obviously, I don't have any attachments or whatever to speed it up a little bit so far, but like just base anyway, it feels odd. Obviously, with attachments and stuff, it'll feel a lot better, but yeah, I really like this screen right here that's showing like all the progress that you're making. It makes it very obvious, very straight up and clean. I need the uh, the lightweight fabric, uh, the muzzle booster, all that stuff to make this feel good. That's in general for all of them. Even the M44 without any attachments felt weird. M44 is too inconsistent for me, personally. I don't like it. The TAC-50 is strong. TAC-50 is 
is just solid all around the board. It's not really that slow either. There's also this cool shock hazard skin where you have like electricity around you. There's a couple characters I think that have this electricity around them, which is cool. Oh shit, what is this? But yeah, that's the X Defiant update. Gonna try to grind this out and get to that uh, camo by tomorrow. Hopefully, it just makes the most sense to go and use a weapon that I'm familiar with instead of trying to start from ground zero with a brand new weapon to try to get the uh, Prisma. So gonna be going for Prisma probably on the AK. You know, once you run into people using this, you're in for a long game.